Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, the D-bit grinder, also known as the Deckel clone, um, to sharpen drill bits using the supplied drill sharpening attachments. I will show you how to take your drill bits from this to this. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for, to um, look for his video on how to sharpen drill bits on the universal grinder using this attachment. Um, without his video, um, this video might not have been possible. Um, it certainly made it a lot easier. Um, the instructions that come with these um, universal grinders uh, and how to use this um, drill sharpening attachment are virtually useless and there isn't a lot of information out there on the internet so thank you to him um, I did find that the drill bits um, using his method um, came out with um, slightly brittle cutting edges um, so in this video um, I'm going to use a slightly different method and I've found very good results with it um, I've sharpened a lot of drill bits um, and I've found that um, this method produces pretty good results. So let's get started. If we look at the drill sharpening attachment, um, you'll notice that I've made the same modification that Luke described in his video, which is to make um, plates out of thinner material um, and different sizes, three different sizes for different size drill bits, and also machine a recess for these plates to sit in so that they're always um, straight down the center line which is essential when sharpening the drill bits to get good results the included plate um, is just too thick um, firstly and secondly it's um, too big for small drill bits and too small for big drill bits so if you want to use this drill sharpening attachment um, I highly recommend that you do the same modification I've also made an additional modification of scribing a line down the center point to help um, align the two together, the drill holder and the mount that it goes into, since um, when you loosen this um, bolt, the two can move. So we're going to sharpen this um, drill bit. Um, it's quite badly damaged and I think someone's taken a grinder to it to sharpen it. Um, by all intents and purposes, um, completely stuffed and um, the first thing you need to do is load um, a 12 millimeter um, collet that's included with your d-bit grinder and then the next thing you want to do is um, put it in um, so let me just put the camera in a different position and show you Once you've put it in, um, you want to tighten the collet as tight as you can. And then um, release this pin here at the back so that the chuck can freely rotate, like so. In the next step, we need to remove this plate. And you need um, a fairly flat straight rod to um, put in here so I'm going to load it as so you just need a small bit of stick out and tighten it up what you really want to do is adjust the tilt of this so that this is flat against um, your diamond stone um, this step is essential because um, each drill bit has um, a portion of the cutting edge that is flat. It's usually 10 to 20 degrees in high speed steel drill bits. So we do it like so. You will also need to um, rotate to an extreme angle. Basically what you want is to get um, this bit um, flat against the stone. So I'm just going to um, do that and bring you back. 
So once we have it in this position, um, it has to be on the final stroke um, when you're going upwards. So I just put, pushed um, this drill bit holder all the way up and then locked it into position. Once it's flat against the stone, you'll want to scribe um, a line um, so that you can easily go back to this position uh, when sharpening drill bits. So let me just pan the camera around and show you where um, I've scribed the mark. I don't know if you can see that um, small line there. Um, it's past zero. Um, so each time you sharpen your drill bits, you want to set the tilt um, to that mark in the future. The next step is to set the angle of your drill bit. Um, in this case we're grinding a high speed steel drill bit, so the angle is 14 degrees. Next you need to put um, the appropriate sized plate. Um, so in this case this is mid-range plate. If you're grinding a big drill bit like this one, um, you'll need to remove um, the holder and just use your hands to hold it. In the next step, you want to adjust the um, stick out of your drill bit um, using this backstop. Um, usually what you want is um, for this cutting edge um, to be 10 to 20 degrees past this center line. Now in this case the edge is quite damaged so you just have to really set the um, edge after it's um, sharpened and ground to slightly past uh, this center line. 10 to 20 um, degrees is the ideal. So I've just eyeballed it and move the stop into position. Now with something like this it's not essential to get it right from the first go. Um, as we sharpen the drill bit more and more um, we can adjust the stick out um, based on how the edge looks like. Now that we've adjusted the stick out of the drill bit um, the next thing you want to do is um, adjust the drill bit holder to three times the diameter of the drill bit. 2.4 to 3 times the diameter of drill bit. So this is a 13 millimeter drill bit. So ideally the stick out from this flat surface here to the tip of the drill bit should be about 39 um, millimeters. Now that we have everything adjusted for our drill bit, um, we just need to move the point close to, um, to our grinding stone and then lock, lock it down. And so when we're sharpening, we're just um, doing the following motion and then flipping the drill bit around. So we're just going to take um, half a millimetre on each side and then rotate and we're going to use this knob to advance the um, diamond wheel towards the drill bit. And one turn of this wheel equals one millimetre so I'm just going to change the camera angle and show you the process. Just remove the first millimeter. As you remove more metal, you should get closer and closer to something that resembles a drill bit. So since um, we started grinding the drill bit, um, I removed about four to five millimeters. 
and then I um, readjusted this distance to three times the diameter of the drill bit um, and then did um, a few more passes um, but took about another half a millimeter and we're finished so let me just show you Well, I hope you found this video useful and interesting, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.